am I the asshole for telling my half sister to stop thinking of us as sister? Then if she did nothing wrong and you still think that or you still just do that, it feels rude. Does it make you the asshole? We'll see. I, 15 female, technically have a half sister, Jane. 16 years ago, my mom had an affair with Jane's dad. And I'm the result of that. Oh, ah, great. However, like, it's basically, it's basically like for my wife with her, all of her half sister. That's great. However, I've been raised by my mom's husband and he's always considered me as his daughter and I will always consider him my dad. Jane's parents were engaged and didn't get married because of the affair and her mom moved to another city before she was even born. So when my parents told me the truth, I did learn about Jane as well, but I don't really care. Yeah. That is extremely fair for you to do not consider her a sister. Jane moved in with her dad over winter break and got registered at my school. She's grade 9, I'm grade 10. Since, he, since she learned who I am, she just won't leave me alone. She skipped asking me to come over, telling me how our dad won't stop talking about me, how we can do all the stuff sisters do, and so much other, other crap. Ah, how can I say? I don't know. Let's keep on, but like, you know where this is going, pretty much. Yesterday, her dad sent her cousin to pick her up for a dentist appointment, and he sent him, and he sent him in a porch. Okay. She asked me to come with her because it will be nice having my sister there with me. I don't want people knowing she's my sister, so I got really mad and told her to screw up and stop thinking of us as that. Of course, she cried, and now I'm suspended and writing this from home. <laughs> Ow. You've been suspended because you told your your your, your stepsister, your half sister, that you have like no relationship built in with, to stop thinking of you as a sister. I feel like it's it's abusive. Okay. You are not obligated to try to build these bridge. Jane is trying hard to build up something with you and just to try to know you as a human. Um, maybe you won't fit together at all. Maybe you would, you would fit well, but you decided not to. So, I mean, at the end, it's your choice. It's a bit sad for Jane, which is clearly trying hard. Um, but she's not entitled to have a sister relationship with you. And... You do not hold that to her. I'll go for not the asshole, but I... I also think that, like, just learning to know her could not hurt. Unless it would hurt, like, your parents' relationship, but it seems to be going well with them. So, it's the kind of thing that I feel that she, like she could reach 22, 23 years old and eventually, like, feel like... We could come back to Am I the Asshole in six years and get the point of view of Jane with Opie trying to, like, rebuild bridge that she willingly never built. You know? That, no, that, that Jane didn't build, but, like, that Opie didn't build here. So, this is the kind of situation where you're like, that does not make you the asshole, but you might feel bad about it. But you might feel bad about, like, building that relationship as well. So, like, are you the asshole-ish? In that situation here, what I see, Jane is not the asshole. She might be a little bit harassing. You don't owe her nothing, but, like, Jane's not the asshole. If we have to have an asshole in that situation, it gotta be you. But I don't think it's a situation that, like, calls for having an asshole. Relationships are complicated. But if we have to call one of you one, I'm sorry, it's probably going to be you. But yeah, people will say not the asshole because like they will both say the same thing. It's complicated. Um, it's, it's, it's. There's step. Step. I, I just hope OP will not regret it in hate years. That's. That's probably my, my, my come over for this. They will, they will both grow. And we've read, we've read the other point of view of these kind of situation on Am I the Asshole in the past. There's someone that tried to build a relationship with someone 
The other person just likes trade out said no repetitively. And eventually that person comes back and then the other hurt person is just like, yeah, but now I'm hurt. I, I don't feel like building a relationship with you anymore. So it's, it's sadly the kind of thing that she will probably grow to regret at least one of the two. At least one of the two.